This video is about joint support. We're gonna start by getting a gallon of vinegar. We're gonna go ahead and pour it into this bowl and then we're gonna go ahead and add water to it. We're doing this because we're gonna be cleaning one of the first ingredients we're gonna be adding to this recipe. I also strongly recommend you have some cooking shears and you'll see why here in a moment. The first ingredient we're going to be adding is pig ears. They're very high in protein and fat, but also very high in collagen and also glucosamine. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and start scrubbing and cleaning the pig ears in the vinegar and water. We strongly suggest you watch this video all the way to the very end, as we're going to be adding particular ingredients that are necessary for the dogs to consume the majority of the glucosamine and collagen that come in these pig ears. One of the main reasons we're rinsing the pig ears in vinegar and water is because a lot of times they come with dirt and sometimes there are even parasites or even bacteria inside of that dirt. So you want to make sure you get all of that out. As soon as we're done cleaning the pig ears, we go ahead and pour the vinegar and water out and rinse them. First thing we're going to do with the pig ears is we're going to go ahead and put them in a pot so we could go ahead and cook them on high pressure for 20 minutes. Along with our next ingredient, which we'll be showing you here shortly. Next ingredient we're going to prepare is going to be cow hooves or cow feet. We're going to actually pour vinegar. We're not going to mix it with water. Uh, these cow hooves, they really have a strong smell. And so we're trying to kill that out right away. Outside of that, it's really the same process. We're going to go ahead and clean them, make sure we get whatever dirt or whatever that doesn't need to be there right out. And then we're going to go ahead and rinse out once we're done cleaning. Once we've added the cow hooves along with the pig ears, we're going to fill the pot just slightly above 50%. Somewhere around 55 or 60% is about right. We are then going to set the pressure cooker to 20 minutes on meat stew. Once done, we're going to go ahead and remove the pig ears. We're also going to go ahead and reset the pot to two hours so we could cook the cow feet. Now I went ahead and put tin foil on this plate that goes inside of our air fryer. I decided to go ahead and do some pig ear snacks just to test it out and see how it cooks inside of the air fryer. So essentially we're going to go ahead and cut the pig ears with the cooking shears into thin long slices. We place them right on top of the tin foil so later we could go ahead and put them inside of the air fryer. I was informed by my daughter that they don't actually go there, that this plate actually goes beneath this right here. So we just went ahead and made the switch. Now this part right here of the recipe, this is just my option, my choice. It's up to you whether you want to cut them like I'm about to cut them. I'm basically going to dice them into small little pieces. It has been shown that dogs have actually died from asphyxiation when eating pig ears because of the chewy, hard nature of the cartilage. So therefore, we're just gonna cut them up into small little pieces. Uh, there's really no rhyme or reason, we're just cutting them down. And then once the cow feet are cooked, we're gonna go ahead and pour that into there, and we're gonna go ahead and cook them even further for 30 minutes.
One thing I forgot to mention is I did go ahead and put those thin slices for the treats into coconut oil just so they could fry crispy. Once the cow feet are done cooking, I'm going to go ahead and take out all that gelatinous, uh, fibrous material that's around the bone. We're going to go ahead and take that out with fork. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason. However you could get it off, that's great. But we just want to make sure that there are no bones. I repeat, no bones by the time that this particular recipe is done. And precisely, this is the gelatinous tissue I'm talking about. It looks like fat, but it actually isn't. You should be having as close to bare bones as possible by the time you're done. As we wait for the cow hooves to be cooked, we're going to go ahead and start working on our secret ingredients. Secret ingredient number one is going to be nothing more than lemons and a good amount of them. You see, lemons are high in vitamin C and vitamin C actually helps the body produce collagen, which is the main source that you actually want to be giving to your dogs senior dogs or dogs that are hurt or injured or simply trying to strengthen their pasterns or their joints overall. But the benefit doesn't only stop there. Vitamin C actually allows the body to consume more of whatever it is that it's taking in. So this alone not only is going to help for the collagen production, but also for the collagen consumption or better yet absorption of the nutrients that we're about to give them. All in all, we got 12 ounces of pure lemon juice. Next up, we have nothing more than organic carrots. Yes, organic carrots, they're very high in vitamin A. Vitamin A has been proven to stimulate collagen production and also helps protect collagen from breaking down. We have now added the remaining of the pig ears along with the gelatinous substance that we got from the cow hooves and we're cooking for 35 minutes on meat stew. Once done, you could already see the broth thickening into a jello-like substance. This next secret ingredient is nothing other than turmeric. We went ahead and added two full tablespoons to the soup and what this does is it's actually an anti-inflammatory. Lastly, I failed to be able to record it, but we went ahead and added the 12 ounces of lemon juice. That's already in there. Pretty much the soup is ready to go. I actually went ahead and poured some for myself and it was actually pretty good. Snacks are also done, so we're getting ready to just go outside and feed our dogs and see how they react. Guys, as you can see, the pups and dogs loved it, both the snacks and the actual soup. This is very good for their joints. So if you have a dog that came up limping, or you have an older dog, or you have anything that's going on, this stuff right here will mediate it pretty much almost immediately. Now there is one last thing I failed to mention, and that is if your dog has some sort of yeast infection or skin issues going on, we have a recipe that'll fix that instantly and naturally. We're gonna leave that link on the top left of your screen, and on the bottom right, we're gonna leave a link for our live stream. If you wanna participate and you want to be able to ask questions and be part of our platform, we invite you to join us. Spin roll from the queue. We'll be catching you on the next one.